Hey there, chart friends. Lamont here from Chart Guys checking in on the solar sector. All right, so starting off with our ETF 10 having a nice strong bullish day, gap up open, close the gap, and then bulls ended up closing the day strong. So we are up against all time high resistance right now in pre market. I mean, in after hours, I should say. And there has not been a daily higher low since. 7309 so whenever we pull back to look for one the bulls will be scouting it over 7309 so we've broken out of this range that we were monitoring this sideways range and we were talking about the potential of that continuation head and shoulders and so now it looks like it is potentially confirming we are in this resistance area that we identified um, as a potential area to short off of. However, you know, because we are looking for a daily pivot, we just wanted to make sure that the hourly was extended. And I don't believe that was the case today, but let's dig in to double check. And that all time high resistance is 8086. So we're actually a little bit over it right now in extended hours. So checking out the hourly time frame, and it looks like we ended the day just flirting with overbought conditions. So, for example, right here, it hit that overbought, pull back a little bit, but pre-market, you know, whatever. So going into the end of the day, we're just flirting with overbought conditions. I don't really love a short, you know, at this point. Like if it, it would have been one thing if, you know, if, uh, let's see, like if we hadn't printed any, yeah, if we didn't print a bunch of hourly higher lows on the way up and we just rushed up there into that all-time high resistance and overly, ideally with overly hourly overbought uh, conditions, that would have been fine. But now it's not really quite like that and although there is bearish divergence but it can be negated like this this high has not yet been put in so if the hourly bulls push up higher and then break to a higher high over this rsi high of 80 then that uh, rsi divergence will be negated okay so uh yeah i cautious caution on any shorts i don't i don't love it at this point now <clears throat> um let's see so last hourly higher low here was at 78.57. Bulls have made enough space that you would anticipate that we would anticipate another higher low over 78.57 should consolidation start tomorrow. And the open tomorrow will be one of those situations where if the bulls are unable to get over the pre-market resistance and all-time high, ah, I see there's an extended hours all-time high further away. But if they, if they are unable to get over the regular trading hours, all-time high and whatever PM high it is, it's very likely that there will be a a short term short uh, on the table, just a little maybe potentially a day trade. So, um, just something to be looking out for tomorrow. And so far, there is no sign of daily consolidation. For daily consolidation to occur, we we got we have to see a nice big hourly move down to print a lower high, then print a lower low, change that trend, and then have bear, bear, uh, bulls scouting that daily higher low over 73.09. So bulls very strong, in full control, potential daily continuation head and shoulders playing out. If this is your first time hearing that, I assure you it's a real thing. It's a, it's a, real, it's a real pattern that, that there, there is documentation on. Um, okay, so what are we looking out for? That's pretty much it. No daily higher low in one, two, three, four, five days. Heading up to test all-time high resistance first thing tomorrow. And we have an extended hours resistance as well at 84.50. Okay, so JKS did not quite get into our long area to test this uh, channel support. And I think this is like some hourly chop here. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, so it didn't quite get into our zone, although... If you were active this day, you potentially could have made this trade just because this was an estimation based on how, you know, based on the hourly oversold. And so if you were to have moved it up, knowing that it would have been oversold a little bit earlier, a little bit higher up, then potentially you're in this trade. But uh, whatever, can't get them all, no big deal. And I would say that trying to get them all is like, it's it's uh, it's often detrimental to to trading like you, you very often you'll see somebody with a very viable strategy maybe it has like a 60 70 percent hit rate more than enough for a successful career and then what they end up doing is they want to capture that other 30 or 40 percent right they want to they want to get a setup that that tries to get every move and it's just uh, very often leads to not ruin but it leads to frustration because there's just not going to be a way right e even the best 
Even the best performers at anything don't win every single game, except Khabib. Well, you could argue that Khabib... Well, whatever, never mind. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... JKS is in our zone of interest for a potential short. However, I would not have suggested you scale in uh, today because the hourly did not quite get extended. I mean, if you had started your scale near the high of day today, okay, I wouldn't be terribly opposed to that. But remember, we want that uh, hourly extension at our back, okay? So, yeah, potential top fishing plays are on the table for... Four JKS bears. Let me just double check to see what it looks like on the daily here. Yeah, yeah, the, the top fish is there. So you have this trend line resistance, you have price action resistance, and you know, we're in this tightening, in this tightening pattern, right? Potentially a pennant, definitely an EQ at the very least. So top fishing plays are there, but pretty bullish day today, the sector overall. So let's be cautious. Uh, we had a lot of consolidation, so the, if this is all that the bears can put together, then the bulls are likely going to start putting in some work. So just be mindful of that. If you are going short, just be, be a little bit more cautious, okay? So if you initiated here, it didn't really give you that much opportunity to take anything off, although if that is the, the if you saw that close and you initiated, you know, <laughs> ideally you would, you would take a little bit of profit. Um, so bulls close strong at the end of the day. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised by a gap up, right? And if we do gap up, then you, you the bulls need to see follow through right away, or that will essentially be a go sign for bears. Okay, so how will we set this up now? We'd we'll probably just move it up a little bit to something like that. I don't hate that. Covers a bunch of these tops here. Well, let me mark off these tops, actually. Hmm. All right, so maybe a bit more conservative. Maybe something like that, making sure that the hourly would, our side would be over 70 when you begin your scales. Something like that, perhaps. Yes. Okay, so this was a huge move going into the end of the day. Bulls have not consolidated for an hourly higher low, so on a five minute trend change tomorrow, bulls will be scouting a hourly higher low over 61.63. And if you are looking to capture that potential higher low, then you might want to look left, take a look at potential areas of pivots and right away this level stands out quite a bit so i would say let me turn off extended hours for a second here what are these Yeah, so you can see how the this these this range is kind of divided by well, where where the previous day's close was. This dotted purple line has printed a bunch of tops, printed a bunch of bottoms, right here, 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 here. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if that level were to get tested, and if it were to get tested in five minute oversold conditions, I think that would be a ideal situation for looking for that hourly higher low. So let's check it out. Yeah, it would be right around there. So perhaps something like that. to scout a potential hourly higher low. Okay. And let's see. That's pretty much it. Hourly higher low on watch tomorrow. Potential top short, uh, potential short top fishing the, uh, yeah, potentially top fishing the upper side of this sideways chop that we've been in for a while. And then we had the trend line and all that good stuff. Oof. Oh, that was for Thursday though. All right, let's see how it played out on 
Friday. So let's see. Oh, didn't get this long. Can kill this here. And I believe this was shared on Thursday. Thursday. So it played out on the 20th here. So let's see, you would have had these three fills, average price here, a little bit of opportunity to take some profit off of this short. Ideally, you just had a chop and stop. Hopefully, if you took this trade, let's see how it shook out during regular time trading hours. Would you have begun scaling there? Uh, no, you should not have begun scaling there. It should have just been a little bit higher. Oops, oops. Should have been a little bit higher, right? There's the, where the RSI is. So you just want to have it moved up a bit higher. Make sure you begin your scales in oversold conditions. And then maybe your trade would have looked something like this. So you would have these two fills here and then a bit more space for profit taking. You can see how big of a difference that is, right? Just starting your scales a little bit later and making sure that they're an hourly oversold. That makes this so that that makes it so that this trade could have given you a 3% if you got all three fills. In this case, in this case you would have only gotten two here and then that moved down. Hold on a second, let me double check. I've got to see. Oh, it closed on this day. So it would have had 2% uh, of a buffer to potentially take profit and protect your position. Then obviously it would have been stopped out the next day. Um, and if we left that those levels the same, then you would have had three fills, but only 1%, right? So. It's literally like almost 50% uh, difference, right? Or 100%, depending on which way you're looking at it. The idea is you give yourself a lot more space if you focus on scaling in only when you have some kind of exhaustion uh, indication at your bag. It doesn't have to be RSI. It can be anything, right? Any kind of momentum indicator or lack thereof. Okay, so let's see. Plug all-time high. No, I'm sorry, that's not plug. This is run. And it's not all-time high. So on the daily, we have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days with a higher low every day pattern. So whenever that pattern breaks, we will be looking for a healthy daily higher low over 52.36. We are at the upper end of the range that we were watching with the top of this previous chop and there was a little bit of a chop here and then a breakdown into this lower range so now we're testing essentially key resistance right now um, in regards to ranges it's not really a price action level but in regards to ranges where we're near the upper end and so bulls ideally will maintain that hourly trend and bust through uh the upper end of this range here and then have bear scouting that weekly lower high under all-time high resistance of 68.80. I mean, they're doing it right now, but if we can see more bounce follow-through, then we will be a little bit more confident in top fishing these levels, right? So if we can get hourly extension into this 67.38 level, then there's potentially a short there. Um, and again, same thing, right? We've been basing for a long time. We've had this consolidation period for a long time. So be very cautious with you, these potential shorts. If anything, there's probably a better trade uh, looking for that daily higher low. Whenever that consolidation begins, looking for that daily higher low is probably a uh, likely a better trade regard, regarding risk to reward and context and all these things, right? Context just being the overall trend in this case. Um, and if you had stuck to that today, and then at the top of this wick where hourly got oversold, then that was a good entry. Gave you opportunity again, although it closed so strong at the end of the day that you probably didn't want to swing it. Yeah. So hourly trend is still very healthy. Last hourly higher low is at 60.55. Whenever we pull back, we will be looking for an hourly higher low over it. Over it? Over it? <laughs> And if you want to try to capture that higher low, which at this point, you know, it's getting a bit questionable, right? Just because we've had so many daily straight days of straight up upside that, you know, e each new successive higher low potentially could be the last one, right? So uh, we just want to be a bit more cautious as bulls continue to make their way up, potentially uh, getting tired. So let's see, where would the five minute become oversold? Okay, so looking back, there's a bit of chop congestion here, right where the five minute would start getting oversold. You can see there's a bunch of volume traded there today because of all this action here. Let's just make sure. Oh, 
Honestly, though, now that we're in this range, I like in this uh, zone of resistance, I care more about just staying within it. So I wouldn't be surprised if we were to come down and test the lower end of it. So maybe something like that. Looking for some more upside to test that weekly resistance. Something like that. And then if you're looking short, you don't believe these bulls. You think this is too many days of upside. You think if they have one more day of upside that they're probably due for some consolidation, which is not unreasonable, then you'll want to be shorting off of 67.38. And so, establish a little zone here. Something like that. Okay, and remember, always adjust these levels based on RSI. Because you're looking for a daily pivot, you want to make sure the hourly RSI is extended. Okay, FSLR. No daily trend change either. Same thing as the other names. One, one, two, three, four, five days of... Every single day having a higher low, we are nearing the upper end of this range here, this previous range that was established here. We had this consolidation pattern, and now, gosh. <laughs> and now, and so now we're testing it, right? You, you can see that there are a few tops here, and obviously this was a contentious area. There was a big defense here, and then bulls, uh, defended again, ultimately losing it, tried to break back above, lost it again, and now we're just chopping about in this sideways range. So I wouldn't be surprised by some short-term consolidation, at least on like the hourly time frame, um, just coming up to test all of these highs. Let me kill these lines. Okay, so whenever we pull back, we'll be looking for a daily higher low. Anything over 79.05 will be one. And again, we're still watching this channel. As long as this channel is offering structure, we will care about it. And if price just kind of meanders sideways into it, not a bad opportunity for buying potentially, especially because the stops are so clear. This range is so clear that you're ultimately any stop should be not much further below 77.77, okay? So let's check it out. All right, did not get into our zone of interest. Just hourly higher lows, very healthy, although these higher highs are not getting much follow through. And remember, we are right up on all these tops. So a bunch of price action resistance has been, has occurred here in the past. You can see them here. And then of course here it's support, resistance again, support again, support that breaks through a little bit and then, okay, well, you get it. All right. so. What are we looking out for now in the interim? Bulls will be scouting an hourly higher low. Bears will be top fishing the, this congestion area up here. All right, where all of these, all of this price action occurred over here. And maybe you'll want to be a bit more conservative and just use the upper end of that range. Yeah, something like that. Okay, something like that, if you're looking short, especially if the bulls start strong tomorrow and push up right away, get that hourly extended, um, then that would be great for this short. And then if you're looking long, you are just looking for this hourly higher low. And it would be right around there. Where the five minute will be oversold, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying the higher low is gonna be there. Nobody knows where it'll be. We only know what we will do if it should get to a certain place. So something like that. Looking for that hourly higher low in five minute oversold conditions. Plug. Plug, all time high, big, strong Marabozu day. Nice volume, looks like that short on Thursday was all right, but did not see the follow through that a short would have wanted. 
Let's see. So really, bulls are in full control still. Everything is still very bullish. All the time frames still very bullish. This is a new green one after one to four bar. Well, it's actually six bars consolidation. But after a period of consolidation, as anticipated after this nine, if you're a TD trader, now we're getting this uh, big green one. So we would anticipate uh, a continuation to a nine probably. It looks The chart looks very healthy. And there has been no daily higher low since... $22. So whenever we pull back, we will be expecting to set a higher low over 22 unless some very serious bear volume comes in and is sustained. Let's check the hourly time frame. So hourly time frame. Um, although this, you know, potentially short, this gave you some opportunity to chop and stop. I don't, I wouldn't have taken it because we never got hourly oversold okay so even though this worked i'm um, you know nope i don't i don't care it's i wouldn't have done it so um ignore it <clears throat> but hey if you know if you did it great I, I would i would advise you not to though because again I, I just want to to make sure that we're in oversold all right oh actually we were looking for a an hourly pivot there i believe so let's see the five minute was the five minute extended into our zone of interest and it was it was. Okay, so wouldn't blame you if you took that short there. Ideally, you chopped it up for some profit and then took your stop. Uh, honestly, if you see this going into the end of the day, just I would strongly consider cutting it, right? Because this is not what you want to see. You want to see your trade start working for you very quickly. If the, if the trade just starts going sideways, be very wary of that. And uh, additionally, uh, and maybe potentially be a little bit more aggressive with profit taking. All right, so anyway, all-time high bull. We'll be looking for that daily higher low over 22 whenever that occurs. There's obviously no sign of it because the bull is closed very strong near the high of the day, so the hourly trend is is strong, right? healthy. No sign of uh, bear showing up yet. Whenever we do see a nice big hourly bear move down, then potentially there will be shorts on the table, although cautious, playing any um, blue sky bull short. Okay, so uh, let's see, short-term trade. Would not be surprised by these levels to get back tested. This previous all time high would not be surprised by any means. They have that back tested. So, if looking for that hourly higher low, we would just be wanting to do so in five minute over sold conditions. And I just want to look, I just want to mark off these levels. I should have done it first. Okay, so mark off some hourly pivots. There's one. That's really the only one. It's really the only one that's uh, going to be relevant for an hourly higher low play. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, right around there is a fine place, in my opinion, to be looking for a potential hourly higher low, just making sure that you are scaling in five-minute oversold conditions. I probably have said that a thousand times by now, but that's okay. Is that all of them? I feel like there was another one. Plug is not even really, oh, I guess. Plug is not even a solar name. All right. Well, anyway, that is, I should just switch these. Okay. Well, that about covers it. And I will see you all soon. Thanks for tuning in.